Hey, what's up everyone? This is Joe from Excel by Joe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take an, an export, like a salary export from DraftKings, uh, be able to paste it into Excel, and then it'll automatically create two new tabs, one just for batters, one just for pitchers. So you can have your, um, like your DFS model all set up um, separating them between batters and pitchers so you don't have to kind of combine stats and so on. So I'm going to do that without macros. Uh, I mean, it can be done with macros uh, too. And yeah, obviously it can be done manually, but I'm going to do this with some formulas. And I'm going to show you that in one second. Uh, just be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, subscribe to the channel. And check out the links below for my uh, video course um, at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com. A uh, video course on uh, using spreadsheets for daily fantasy and all my lineup building tools, uh, which are spreadsheets at OptimizeLineups.com. So let's get into the video. So I'm on DraftKings right now. And we've got the salary export. I would just click export to CSV. I already did that, but this is how you get it. You, you just click export to CSV and a CSV file will come up. And we've got it right here. And then in future times, once you set up the spreadsheet, you won't, you'll you just get the CSV file and paste it into here. So I'm going to call this just paste because that's, that's where you'll be pasting the, this into. And we're going to set up two tabs one for batters and then one for pitchers. So what we're going to do after we paste this, we need to make a couple columns. We need to make a pitcher column for our number that's going to kind of um, separate them and then a batter column along with the rank because that's how we're going to get it. We're going to rank them just by the ID because these are all unique numbers. We're going to rank them by ID number, and then, then we're going to go and do a lookup on batters and pitchers. Okay, so now we're going to rank all our uh, players um, and by getting just an if statement to show if they're pitcher or batter. But what actually, instead of, I mentioned, we'd do ID. Let's let's do it on salary, because salary would be, uh, we'll make it a little easier uh, so we can keep them in a certain order. So let's do if this equals P, then what we want to do is put the salary, but we also want to <clears throat> not just put the salary because we want to make it a unique number because if we have two of the same salary, we're not going to be able to get a unique rank. So we're going to do salary plus, and then this little formula here, rand, double parentheses, divided by like 100,000 or a million um, just to make it a very small number. And then, comma, if it's not equal to P, then we're going to do double quote. So even though it shows 11,800, really the salary is 11,800.00001 or, or something like that. So that all that's going to do is allow us to get a unique rank. And I'll show you that right now. Because now after we got our pictures with all their salary... And if you see, they're all pitchers on the left. But once we scroll down and find a non-pitcher, well, there's quite a bit of them. See, there's no salary here, so it's not going to pick that up in our rank. This all makes sense once we get onto the other tab. But what we're doing, we're ranking this number in this range. So when I press Enter, see, that's number one because that's the highest salary. And then when we copy this down, as you can see, here's, look, 9,100, 9,100. If we didn't put this little RAND number addition onto here, these would both be the same rank. They would both be a 12. And that would throw off problems when we're trying to pull the players in. That's why we need that little RAND number at the end, just to make them unique. And now we're going to do the same thing for batters, but just kind of in the opposite. So if this equals pitcher... Then we want quote, quote, because we don't want any pitchers in there. Otherwise, we want the salary plus rand divided by just a real huge number. And then end parentheses. And see, there's no batter rank there because none of these are batters early on. All the batters show up later. And then let's rank it. So we're going to rank... This number, although obviously there's nothing there in this range. 
and it's show value. So what we want to do, actually we should do it on the other one also, is just put if error, comma, quote, quote. So that means if there's an error that's going to come up, we're going to put a double parentheses in there so it makes it look like there's no error. And see now, we can see, here's the, the fourth highest salary here, Xander Bogertz. Um, here's the seventh, here's the sixth, this fifth, and see there's all 5,600, but we need the random number which would fix it. And if we notice, see we got more error, we got error messages here because we didn't do the if error on this rank, so we need to do that. And then when I copy this down, now when we scroll down, we're not going to see that error message anymore. And see, here's the highest priced uh, player, Mike Trout, for batters. So now we've got this all set, and you're not going to have to do this. It's a little bit of pain doing it the first time, but now you're not going to have to keep doing it. So next time, you, all you need to do is copy and paste your salary export into here, and then all these numbers will, will automatically recalculate. You may need to check at the very end. See, I mean, this I have this going down 800 rows. If there happens to be 900 records, all of a sudden on the next one, you may need to just copy it down a little further. But so now that we have all of this, we're going to start on batters. And so here's the, the rank. And we're going to start putting putting the ranks in there. Oops. So this should be rank one. This should be rank two. And we'll copy this down. Here, we'll just copy down 600. That's fine. And we'll go over here and start copying all of our stats over. But we're going to set up as a formula. So now we can't do a simple VLOOKUP because VLOOKUP goes from left to right. And you have, if you were doing a, we're looking up this rank here. And if it's VLOOKUP, it only could go this way. There's a new formula in the latest Excel called XLOOKUP, which I'm going to show you how to do that. But if you don't have the latest Excel, you're going to have to use index match, which is another formula. It's just a nested formula, and I'll show you that one after um, with the pitcher's rank. But let's look at the batter's rank first. So for position, all we're going to do is it's going to do the formula XLOOKUP, and we're looking up the value of 1, comma, in this column, which is this rank, and then what do we want to pull? We want to pull this position. So now we press enter, and we've got outfield, because that's Mike Trout's the first one. What I want to do, though, is put a, do a couple things first. We're going to do if, I mean, this isn't necessary. You don't have to do this, this step right now, but I'm just checking if this cell Actually, no, let's, let's not do that. Let's just see how it works works out. So what I want to do, let's, I'm going to copy this over. So I'm going to put dollar signs there. So we always want to look in A2. We always want to look in column M. But column A is going to change. Because we want it to, when we copy it over, we want it to start pulling the other position, or the other columns. So now C is I copied it over. There we go, Mike Trout. I'm going to double click to make to make these columns a little wider. And now all I have to do is just copy this down. And there we go. Now we still have to make these, this column a little wider because we had some longer names. And I'm going to double click to copy this further down. And there we go. Now see it's it's all the same name just because it's still calculating because it it's do a whole bunch of records. But it won't take that long. There we go. There. So what we did is now, going forward, you have the spreadsheet to keep. All you want to do is paste in the values the next day. And we have our batters, and they will automatically update. And then you can do the rest of your um, DFS model here if you're adding other stats or, or whatever. And so next... What we want to do is for the pitchers. So I'm going to copy this column over. I'm 
I'm going to copy over the position, the column headers. And now instead of instead of VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP, um, since you may not have, have that use in, in the latest Excel, you may not have the latest Excel, we're going to do index match, which is very similar. So it's index, parentheses, and what column are we pulling? So we're going over the paste. We want to pull column A, comma, then match. And then what are we matching? So we're matching this number in this column, which is this rank, and then comma zero, and then parentheses and double parentheses and press enter. And there we go. So we have starting pitcher is the position. So now what we want to do is put dollar signs again so we can copy it. We're always looking up A2 and we're always looking in column K for the match. We copy this over and it should be done. And then when we copy this down, and you may not even want to copy it all the way down, but maybe if you want to just copy, say, 100, 100 rows, it's going to calculate it. And there we go. So now we have all our players broken out by. Uh, pitcher and by batter and all you have to do is paste in um, to your salary export and you what you can even do too if, if you had wanted if you just wanted if you have put keep them on a separate spreadsheet you can just set up a macro to you just record the macro by going to say the batters tab copy this press control C to copy and then paste it onto your other sheet and then it'll it'll paste it on there I mean I'm not doing that in this video but obviously you can do a lot with, with this stuff. But I just wanted to show you how to set this up um, to help you get your DFS model kind of a little more separ separated by position. So that's all I got. If you have any questions, let me know. Post in the comments. Um, and check out the links below again uh, for my video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com. And for all my lineup building tools on my uh, optimizers and also my simulation tools at OptimizeLineups.com. So uh, I guess that's all I've got for today. Um, I will put a link to this spreadsheet too down below um, in, the, in the description. And have a good day. Thanks. Bye.